Hello friends, welcome again. Today I am going to talk about upcoming Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. There are lots of rumors are coming out in the internet and it's getting difficult for us to understand what these mobiles are actually bringing and what are the new features we will be getting with these mobiles. So in this video, I am going to talk about some of the features and specifications of the mobile and make it as simple as possible so that you people can get an idea about the features. So without further ado, let's get started. Talking about the screen size, as per the rumors, Samsung Galaxy S8 will be having a screen size of 5.7 inch. However, some of the sites are also saying that it may have a screen size of 5.5 inch. However, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus will be having a screen size of 6.2 inches. As per the rumors, Samsung will remove the physical home button and it will integrate the home button in the touch screen. So though there is increase in the size of the screen, from the predecessor that is S7, you will not see much change in the physical dimension of the product. The 5.7 inch display of Samsung Galaxy S8 will be Quad HD uh, Super AMOLED display and the 6.2 inch display of Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus will be 4K or Ultra HD display. Now what exactly Quad HD and 4K display for that I have made a different video. You can go through this video to get an idea about the differences and the advantages of having these screens. Talking about the processors, as per the rumor, Samsung will going to use Snapdragon 835 or Exynos 8895 processors based on 10 nanometer FinFit technology. Samsung was previously using 14 nanometer FinFit technology. So it seems difficult to understand what this 14 nanometer or 10 nanometer actually mean. So let me quickly make you understand what this actually mean and how it impacts the performance of a processor. This nanometer actually means the distance between the two transistors. Every processor is made up of transistors and the smaller the distance between the transistors, then more number of transistors can be fixed in the processor. Since Samsung is previously using 14 nanometer and now it is reduced to 10 nanometer, so definitely more number of transistors can be fixed in the processor. So definitely Snapdragon 835 will perform better than its predecessors. As per the Qualcomm, its performance is 27% better than the predecessor and it is 40% more power efficient than its predecessor. The power efficiency comes from the fact that since the distance between the two transistors is less, then the electronics has to travel less to perform any task. As per the rumors, the processor will be having 8 cores, that is octa core. Out of these 8 cores, 4 will be large and 4 will be smaller. Since Snapdragon 835 is an SoC that is system on chip, it will also have a GPU. The GPU uh, as per the rumor will be Adreno 540. Previously Samsung is using Adreno 530, so definitely performance of Adreno 540 will be much better than the previous processor. Talking about the memory, it will be having dual memory card slot and with a memory uh, size of 128GB. Uh, talking about the RAM, Samsung Galaxy S8 will be having a RAM of 6GB and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus will be having a uh, RAM of 8GB. This is the first time that any mobile is providing 8GB of RAM. The other major upgradation would be the mobile will not be having micro USB port. Instead, it will have USB Type-C type connection. This is a reversible connection, so you can also connect your charger upside down. It also provide multiple functions like HDMI, VGA, etc. So the same port will work for charging HDMI and many other functions. Talking about the camera, as per the rumors, it will be having 9 megapixel front facing camera and 30 megapixel back facing camera or rear camera. Talking about the battery, as per the information provided in some of the leading tech sites, it will be having a battery of 42 mAh. So its battery performance will be better than the predecessors. However, the performance of the battery not only depends upon the size of the battery. It also depends on some other factors like say in Samsung Galaxy S8, the company is using Snapdragon 835, which itself gives power efficiency. Similarly, it is also using Android Not. This new operating system also gives power efficiency. So combining all these factors, we see that the Though the size of the battery is not increased much, but if you consider the processor as well as the operating system, the battery performance will be better. The other major upgradation of the battery will be it will be having quick charge feature. So with a charge of 30 minutes, you can use the mobile for the entire day. Summarizing all the features with an enlarged screen size and with a better processor and GPU with extended battery and some additional features like quick charge and USB Type-C port, the mobile will be a great mobile and it will be one of the best mobile in 2017. So that's all for Samsung Galaxy S8 and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. 
If you have any query regarding this, feel free to reach me. I'll be very happy to help you with all the information I have. Please comment in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And until next time, stay safe and bye bye.